What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to color skin with Copic markers. Now for this video I got two heads on my page here and I'm going to show you how to do this with light skin and dark skin. So the colors you'll need to color in the light skin are YR000, YR00, RO2, and R22. So those are the colors you're going to need to color the light skin. Now for the dark skin, we're going to be using E23, E37, E29, and E49. So those are the colors we're going to be using to color the dark skin tone. But for now, we're going to zoom in on this head so I can show you guys how to do it with the light skin tone. So let's get started. Okay, so now that we're zoomed in, what I am going to do first is apply my base color, which is YR000. I'm just going to leave some space on the side of the head just because that's just my illustration style. You can do that if you want to, but the reason I have that there is because in case I want to put in some uh, colored light along my character, I can do that. But in this case, I'm not going to, but I do that in most of my illustrations just in case. I also tend to do that with white light, so either way, there's going to be some light shown somewhere on the body or the, the face in this case. But, yeah. Let's get that base tone in there. Color the entire thing. Okay. So now I'm going to take my mid-tone, or one of my mid-tones, which is YR00. I'm just going to apply a big, huge, large amount of this mid-tone. Still leaving space on the edge for the white light. And then I'm also gonna apply this underneath the eyebrows, in between the eyes and the eyebrows, like that. I'm also gonna add some layers on top so that way the other colors can blend easily. Like so. Okay, and now I'm going to use one of my darkest colors, my second to darkest, which is RO2. I'm going to do the same thing by just applying it along each part of the face. The same places that I applied my YR00. So along here. like that and then with our R22 we can add some darkest shades but we're not going to apply too much of this because we want to still blend back into the base color so that's why we're not going to apply too much of this color and don't forget the neck Okay, so now after applying our darkest shade, what we're going to do is work backwards. So we just used our R22, now we're going to go back with R02 and try to blend our darkest shade back into the base color. So, so we're making progress here and now let's go back in with our first mid-tone which is YR00 just color over every part that you see that has RO2 on it Blend each portion out. And don't forget the neck. Okay, and then after that stage, you should have a small amount of blending to do with your base color, which again is YR triple zero. So just got a small area down here this area around the head sometimes you may have to go in a circular motion 
sometimes you may have to layer, which means applying multiple coats to an area. Just remember to get everything, so that way there's nothing left behind. And then this small portion around the neck. Like so. And that looks pretty good. That actually turned out better than I expected. But yeah, that's how you color light skin. So let me transition to this head over here and show you guys how to do it with a dark skin tone. Okay, so now that we're over here, let's go ahead and add our base color, which is E23. And I'm gonna do what I did earlier and add some space on the side of the head to pose as some light, white light in this case. If I want it colored, I can, but in this case, I'm not going to again. And then I'm gonna add some space along the neck. And then just color the rest of that in. Cool. Now let's go in with our first mid-tone, which is E37. And just apply this color along the contours of the face, close to the lines, like right here where I am. And along the ear. make that space big and wide so we're gonna apply a lot of this E37 and don't forget the neck cool now let's go in with our E29 which is our darker mid-tone I'm gonna do the same thing Okay, and now with our darkest color, which is E49, and we're gonna apply a small amount of this because again, this is our darkest color and we don't wanna go too dark with this uh, shade. Okay, so along the ear, along the side of the neck, right down here at the face. Okay, now after applying our shade, we can work backwards. So, grabbing E29, blending E49 back into it. Like up here. And then up here, down here. Cool. And now E37. And blend those two colors out with E37. And then don't forget the neck down here. And then I forgot to add some shading underneath the eyes. We can do that with this mid-tone. Okay, and then now going back with our base tone, which is E23, and blend everything back together. All right.
right, and after doing that, you should end up with something that looks like this. The shades may appear to be too dark, but we applied a dark color, and that's what we got. So, let me zoom back out so I can show you guys everything. Alright, and there you go. That's how you color skin with Copic markers. So, if you like this video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video.